Hello and thank you for joining me. This is the 112th scale Seance Era Cerberus by Lynx Pulse, and I'll be unboxing and reviewing this figure, which just released at the end of February 2022. It retails for around 90 US dollars to 140 dollars, depending on where you buy it. If you buy it direct from Asia, it will be on the cheaper side, but uh, shipping will cost more. So after all is said and done, it will be over $100 easy. I was pretty surprised at how small the package was when it came to my doorstep. I was even more surprised when I opened it. The box for Cerberus is pretty small. For instance, it's smaller than a typical Figma box. Honestly, it kind of made me a little worried. But despite my initial surprise, I really like how this figure is packaged. If you've ever bought a Hot Toys or other high-end 1-6 scale figure, then you'll find that this is a similar experience. The packaging comes in an outer shipping box. Open that up and you are greeted with a high-quality box with a lid that is held on by magnets. Within the box, the figure and accessories are held in two foam layers stacked on top of each other. It all feels very secure, and the figure and accessories arrived in perfect condition. So what's in the box? There's the instructions in English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. It details everything in the package, plus uh, basic functions like face swapping. You of course have the Cerberus figure itself, already wearing its belt with some gear on it. It also comes with two extra face parts, one with a slightly angry face with the downturned eyebrows, another with what I would say is a berserk face with red eyes and open mouth. It has an enraged feel to it. Then you have some extra hands. Uh, this one is a pointing right hand that can also hold the gun. Uh, it's good for practicing trigger safety. Then you have a gripping left hand that can be used to hold the rifle barrel or a smoke grenade. Here's another pistol grip type right hand with the finger sculpted to be on the trigger. And then we have another gripping hand, but this is a right hand and the grip is tighter, so it would be good for the included knife, for instance. Next, we've got an extra ammo clip. Then there's a clip holder molded in clear plastic with some paint. The clip slots in really easily. Then we have a knife. It has some nice detailing on it. Looks pretty good. There's a smoke grenade. And this is her helmet. Uh, it's got some nice printing and weathering detail, but honestly, I don't like the design personally. It's just not my style. It's kind of weird, right? It looks like an origami elephant or something. Removing the top foam tray, we are greeted with more accessories. These accessories in the bag are the pre-order bonus accessories. We have a third extra face with a battle damaged look. Then you have a battle damaged shirt and socks with holes in them. Underneath that bag is her transparent tactical cloak. It's got wires at the edges so you can sculpt it around her body, or make it hang naturally, or have it blowing in the wind, or some other dramatic look. It has a good thinness to it. it feels in scale. There's also some nice printing on it. Next we have alternate feet with the toes bent. These will be good for crouching or running poses. Then there's a little vial of powder 
I'm assuming this is for the seamless body. If you had seamless bodies before, then you know that the rubber can get kind of tacky over time. So this powder should help keep it feeling soft and not sticky. This is supposed to be body armor, I believe. There are wires in the edges so it can be sculpted like the cloak. These armor sleeves can be removed and are held on with uh, Velcro. There are transparent green pieces of plastic in them. The M4 carbine looks good. It's uh, got the text Doggy Special printed on it. There are no rails or movable parts, but you can remove the clip, of course. Overall, it looks good to me. Now let's look at the figure itself in more detail. The head sculpt is pretty good and quite comparable to the quality of a Figma head. The hair is a bit on the simplistic side, and I think a bit more detail or a slightly more complex design would have been more impressive. This is an original character after all, so they could have really shown off their sculpting capabilities. On the flip side, maybe they just know their limitations or are, are avoiding having to make a more detailed mold to save money. There is also a very noticeable seam where part of the hair can be removed to swap faces. A more complex hair design would have hidden the seam better. As we've seen, there are four interchangeable faces, each with different expressions. All of the expressions are pretty stoic, angry, or determined, so it would have been nice to see a smiling version or something uh, with a lighter tone. Something cute, maybe. The body is a seamless type. I don't have any other seamless bodies to compare it at the moment, but it seems well made. The armature underneath is metal, and the joints seem pretty good and not loose, but I do worry about them wearing out. I'm also worried about the skin tearing or cracking from stretching at the joints, as I've seen on 1.6 seamless bodies. Articulation-wise, she has a ball-jointed neck, but the soft skin does limit the range of motion since there's not enough tension in the joint to overpower the softness. The skin causes it to bounce back to a neutral position. There's a ball joint at the base of the neck, and the neck can tilt in all directions. There's what feels like a ball joint at the midsection as well. The shoulders feel more like a hinge that can rotate above the hinge, and there doesn't seem to be a bicep swivel. The elbows bend past 90 degrees, and you can see the armature starting to peek through the skin here. Hips feel like ball joints and the range of motion is excellent since there's no hard plastic restricting it like on a normal figure. Knees are hinged with a swivel above the knee. The ankles are ball joints just like the head and are basically the end of the metal armature. The wrists are the same way. Unfortunately, these points, the ankles, wrists, and head are the weakest joints because there's not a lot of tension. So for the ankles, that means it's going to be harder to have the figure stand on its own. The outfit looks good overall. It has a sort of utilitarian feel to it, while also keeping it womanly at the same time. You can attach the smoke grenade to a tiny metal clip on the belt. It's actually quite impressive how small this clip is. You also need to attach the clip holder, and thankfully you don't need to remove the belt to do that. The knife can be fitted snugly into the sheath, and the strap for the sheath is elastic. I like the choice of fabrics used. The gray parts are kind of polyester or something, and it feels nice and thin and very much in scale with the figure. 
Printing looks good on all the cloth parts as well. The, the barcode on her shirt is starting to come off on mine. And I think that's going to happen if you start futzing with her outfit or decide to change her out of it. Just stretching it will cause it to peel. The belt buckles are functional, but if you want to remove the belt, you might need to remove the webbing from the buckle as the buckle seems too big to get through the belt loops on the shorts. The pouch on the belt looks good, and it's functional since the belt buckles can be opened. I'm not sure if I like the long straps on the sleeves, but I guess that's what they wanted it to look like. Faces can be swapped just like a Figma figure. Remove the front hair piece and then change the face. Alternatively, you can attach the helmet piece instead, but uh, like I said before, I'm not liking this look. It, it's, too, it's too far out there for me. The cloak and armor completes her military look and you just hang the cloak off her shoulders. The wires in the edges of the cloak help keep it in place. The body armor sort of closes up the cloak, attaching to both sides with Velcro. The gray parts of her outfit are pretty easy to remove, so you can give her almost a more civilian look to her. I think she looks rather good like this too. I imagine this is what she would look like if she were training. Changing her into her battle damaged outfit can be pretty difficult. I think it took me about an hour in total. The shirt was pretty easy to remove and put back on, but the holes are easy to accidentally make larger, so you need to take it slow and not pull too hard. The socks took a lot longer to put on since it's very hard to slide them over the rubber skin. You have to take it slow and bunch them up, pull it up slowly, little by little. This is definitely a more risque look, and it's kind of a cool alternative. And yes, the body appears to be anatomically correct. The chest area has sculpted nipples, and from what I can tell, the crotch area has sculpted detail as well. The body is not painted at all, in case you were wondering. So, I've gone ahead and removed her shorts to confirm that yes, she does have detail down there. Obviously, I can't show you that, but please enjoy these photos instead. That about does it. Overall, I'm really impressed with this figure. Right off the bat, the box impressed me. I mean, that is the way to package a figure. I guess the downside is that you can't see the figure until you take it out, but I love the sturdiness and compactness of it. The figure is equally impressive with its very well done seamless body. The outfit has a nice fit. The fabric feels in scale, so it lays and wrinkles really nicely. The accessories look great and have some nice detailing. My biggest gripes are the weak ball joints at the neck, wrists, and ankles. And then there's the hair, which just seems a little too plain. Doesn't hide that seam in her head at all. Overall, totally recommend picking it up if you like the look of the figure. It's got some great sex appeal while also looking pretty badass. So thank you for watching till the end. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you have this figure or want to get it. Jam out.